Hi and welcome to SDN Tech Forum. In this video, we are going to touch base upon Cisco SD Software Defined Access Fabric Solution. We will understand the different uh, different roles of SD Access, and then see how we can use NetFlow to monitor uh, overlay traffic and gain visibility into fa uh, fabric fabric flows. So this is my test bed. Uh, and as you can see, uh, there are many components involved here. Uh, I have a fabric consist of my border and two edge nodes, E1 and E2. Then I have two clients hanging off to my edge. They are doing .1x based authentication to uh, get network access. Border, sending NetFlow data to UDP director. UDP director working as a NetFlow aggregator and then it sub, uh, sends this uh, NetFlow data to live action uh, NetFlow collector at the same time a stealth watch or any other NetFlow collector of your choice. So uh, as you can see there are many components and uh, I'm not going to log into each of one of them uh, in during this video so we'll rely on some screenshots uh, especially to, towards the virtual machines like uh, my clients and all uh, to establish that we have connectivity. So let's see what is the Cisco Campus Fabric or Software Defined Access. This is a typical view of Software uh, Defined Access solution from Cisco. So you have a fabric consists of your border and edge nodes, then you have access points, wired host, uh, uh, extender, everything connected to your uh, fabric edge and in, inside the fabric you are running Lisp as a control plane, VXLAN uh, uh, for, for data traffic and a northbound to the fabric is your shared services like Cisco Identity Service Engine, Active Directory, DNS, DSCP and uh, of course uh, Cisco DNAC. So what exactly is a fabric? As you can see that fabric is consist of uh, underlay network that means your edge and border and any intermediate devices they are connected uh, for and they have IP reachability so they uh, the underlay is solely for I, IP reachability and then you have overlay network that carries the host traffic and and Cisco SD access solution uses VXLAN for overlay so you can see that any tra uh, host traffic going from one edge to another edge is VXLAN encapsulated traffic. And that's, that's make it sometimes difficult to gain the visibility like uh, what exactly, uh, what kind of traffic user is using because VXLAN is a IP within IP encapsulation. So you can see what kind of encapsulation it uses. The first packet here is IP packet, original IP packet and then it get encapsulated in VXLAN. So it, you get a new UDP header as, as well as a new IP header. And if you monitor your network using traditional NetFlow or NBAR, you're going to uh, look into the outer uh, header only. That means you will never gain the visibility uh, for, for the inside header that is your user traffic. So we, in this video, we are going to see how we can use uh, the NetFlow, flexible NetFlow to gain visibility into fabric flows, so-called fabric flows. So again, uh, let's go back to the test bed and look in the fabric one, uh, one more time. So I have two hosts with MAC address 92.72. They have got the IP address 92.17 and another host with the MAC address ending in 3B12, uh, got an IP address of 172.16.91.12, and they are connected to E1 and E2. I have a, uh, my fabric pre-built and have they have sufficient permission. That means the host can talk to each other, which we can see here in the screenshot. So let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see. This is my H2 client and having IP address of 91.11, MAC address 3B12, it is pinging 92.17, that is H1 client. 
uh, and this edge one client is again doing the same thing so they are pinging each other i have uh, another udp based traffic going on in between them by using a traffic generator uh, but i'm not showing it here so first we will see what is the drawback if you apply only standard netflow so this is my standard netflow uh, just like uh, <coughs> A, a flexible net flow of what we are using so this is my ingress flow record based on all my key field and non key field and flow monitor then flow monitor is uh, calling exporter and the record and then i'm applying that to the interfaces uh, which is connected to edge so this is my border and i have two interfaces 1039 and 1040 going to my edge one and edge two. Now let's see what happened if we have this traditional net flow applied on our network devices, what kind of visibility we have. So let me bring the router itself, uh, the switch itself. I'm logged out, so let me try to log in. And we will see, show, first I'm going to show you what I have on it my interfaces show interface t1039 so you can see that right now i have the traditional standard net flow configured and let's see what kind of cache information we have show flow monitor live action ingress cache i will present it in a table format for better visibility so right now you can see my 192, 168 is an underlay subnet and 172 is overlay subnet. So you can see all my source addresses are from 192, 168. That means I'm looking only on the first header that is outer header. So I don't have any flow visibility like the two hosts are talking to each other, but I don't have that visibility at all. So that is the problem with standard net flow. So how we can, we can overcome this problem? To overcome this problem, what we are going to do, we are going to apply a extended net flow or another set of net flow configuration, which is called net flow config for VXLAN based lookup. The trick for this is we are going to define two flow monitors, one for outer packet and one for inner packet. You can see the flow record this is for outer packet flow record this is for inner packet and then i have flow monitor the trick is within flow monitor i am saying skip outer that means don't look at the outer ip header look at the inner ip header and this one is equivalent to traditional i'm going to just use one exporter because exporter is common between them and then apply this new NetFlow template to my interfaces. So let's remove the old one and apply. I have NetFlow already defined. I'm just going to delete it from the interface and then reapply it. So what if I did, I just negated the earlier NetFlow and then applied the NetFlow with two lookups. Let's give it some time because the polling interval is minimum is one minute. Um, so let, let it start creating the cache. And since I'm assuming my flows are still going on, we should see the new flow information. So flow monitor. So you can see I have flows from 170 to 16, 91.12 going to 92.17. So this is the ping what is going on between them. 
and also I have the overlay traffic going to my regular DHCP and DNS. So, and if I look at the next flow, so if I go monitor. see that I have those that flow captured if we give it a little bit of time it's going to populate more flows and we'll have all the visibilities in the SDA flows so this is the screenshot and if I go to live action and run a top conversation report I should see the flows SDA flows that is between 172.16.91.12 going to 92.17 and I should have that vis uh, visibility uh, into live action as well. So a little bit of modification, understanding what we want to uh, monitor, what we don't want to monitor uh, because of this encapsulation, VX based, uh, VXLAN based encapsulation and you can gain as DA flow visibility without any third party or assurance tool or any proprietary solutions just based on standard net flow. Thank you.